Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I want to share with you a little bit more about Infinix brand new smartphone, the Zero 30 5G. I happen to have both colorways here by the way, the green and the gold. And the whole idea about this device here is that Infinix is saying these are made for vloggers or content creators out there who likes to shoot a lot of video. Now the standout feature from this particular device is its ability to take 4K at 60 FPS, not just at the back but also with its selfie camera at the front. So in today's video, what I'm really going to be showing you is a couple of uh, footages that you can expect to get directly off the phone itself with no editing. I'll share with you about its stabilization, which by the way, it does come with OIS built-in on the back. And of course, I'm going to share with you my overall user experience with the Infinix 035G since I have been using it as my primary camera when I was actually back in Venice about a week ago. So let's begin today's video right away. All right, so first and foremost, I think we should jump straight in and check out how is the performance like on that rear camera. Note that all these videos that you be seeing from now has not been edited they were straight off the camera so let's just roll a couple of footages right away guys we've just entered the hotel room that was booked by Infinix let's take a very quick tour of course this is the bathroom there's not a lot of very spacious hotels but we do have a very large bed over here and two nice chairs for me to do my work all right it's a new story right in front here all these rooms and buildings these were actually like part of the government offices back in the day. So as you can see, we actually just got off the boat, one of the boat taxis over here. Uh, the stabilization is actually quite good on this phone. Again, it's uh, recording front and back 4K 60fps. We are at this really beautiful place. Unfortunately, I didn't really hear what they say. So I can't tell where we are right now. But yeah, we are supposed to walk all over there and head in. What do you think of the camera? I think that's the main question here. What do you think of this camera? So yeah, let's just start walking around and see how it performs in terms of stabilization. Everywhere around here is just uh, very aesthetic looking. Have a couple of uh, nice domes at the back there. And yeah, let me know what you think about the audio as well. All right, let's head in. I think everyone's already in. Let's go. All right, so now let's move on to the front because this is actually a 50 megapixel selfie camera that can also capture 4K at 60 FPS. Now bear in mind, most phones today can do 4K but not 60. They can only mostly do 30 FPS and with 60 FPS, everything is going to be, look a bit more fluid, a bit more smoother. So again, let me roll a very quick clip right now so you can see how the 4K 60 FPS performs at the front. All right guys, so today we are going on a, on a tour with Infinix. They're going to show us uh, this city of Venice. I usually don't like to wear shades but the sun is really too hot so today's video uh, the main purpose is to test out the camera performance of the Infinix you know their brand new phone 035G and let's just see how it works as a vlogging camera this is obviously the front facing camera I think if you are a vlogger you are really going to enjoy this uh, 4K60 simply because it's just so fluid check out the speed so fluid but yeah let me just turn around here so you guys can see at the back so the, the, the sun is quite sharp at the back there, so it's actually quite bright. The camera is obviously mainly focusing at your face. But yeah, let's just see. And there you have it, the building at the back. Let me try and focus at the back. There you go. Now you can see the, the building, the details at the back. All right, let's talk a bit about the shooting experience. How was it like taking videos on this phone? Well, overall, I would say that this phone is actually very, very slim. Uh, it's quite okay to hold it this way, but bear in mind, they're both curved on the front and at the back. There's only one slight issue that I found quite annoying when taking videos with this phone, and that is every time you finish shooting a video and you press the stop button, the phone actually shows a saving screen for a couple of seconds before you can continue shooting the next scene. Now, I've not seen any kind of uh, phones perform like this. Usually if you press the stop button, the phone will start to save and process the video in the background instead of showing you that saving screen right at the front. So that was something that I found quite annoying. But other than that, 
overall experience using the phone itself to shoot videos is actually very, very pleasant. All right, so let's talk a bit more about the other features with this device. Well, naturally, we don't have a very powerful processor on board, but we are actually still able to use most of your applications very smoothly. It comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM, which you can actually add another 9 GB from your internal storage to create a total of 21 GB RAM. So you know, just navigating through apps isn't really such a huge issue, but I would say that the saving, the saving of videos and pictures does take a little bit of time on the Infinix Zero 30 Pro. But I want to highlight the battery life on this device. It was actually very good because I was taking like seriously a ton of videos and photos, of course, during the trip in Venice. So the battery actually held up really well all the way until the end of the day. Now, the good news here is also that the phone itself does support a 68 watt fast charge and it can do like zero to 80% in sort of like around half an hour. And that is actually very, very quick for a device at this price point. Now, last but not least, I just want to quickly highlight the display at the front. We do get that curved AMOLED display. It is a 144 hertz display, by the way. So everything is super supposed to be very, very smooth. But like I said, again, because the processor is not that powerful, occasionally there might be some stutter in between, you know, just navigating and all that. But again, 144 hertz, very, very smooth, and the display looks great. The display, I think, is very important because this is something that you are going to be looking at most of the time, and especially with such a strong sun back in Venice, I was actually able to see the display very clearly without any issues. Now, overall, what do I think about the Infinix Zero 30 5G? Well, I would say that if you are a content creator and you are on a budget, and of course, you want to shoot 4K at 60 FPS, I think the Infinix Zero 30 5G is actually a very good option that you should consider. Should you go right away and buy it? I think you should still check out more reviews and see how they perform, but overall, in my opinion, this is actually a pretty good device. Now, with that said, thank you for watching today's video all the way till the end. Again, don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.